This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short excerpt, I explain what Final Cut Pro's export tags are, where they are located, and how to change them. Bill asks, what are the tags in the export window of Final Cut? Can we search on them, and how do we change them? Well, let me show you. Here's a movie, and if we decide that we want to export it, when we go to File, Share, Export File Default, notice under Information we have these metadata tags. Huh. What are those metadata tags? Well, let me show you. If we select the project and go up to the inspector, see this little trident here. When you click it, it shows the metadata, the tags that are associated with this video. The name is the name of the project. The video is about the name of the project. The creator is whoever is currently logged into that computer. And the tags are the different events that we have stored inside here. Notice also that it shows us every time this project was exported. If I export it more than once, it'll all be listed. And I could, if I want, open it from the finder, except I always move my files, so I never worry about that. This is the part of the interface that's the most important. When you click it, it allows you to specify what metadata tags you want exported with the file. I'm going to add the copyright. Well, what does the copyright mean? Again, if we go back to this arrow and go all the way down to the bottom, see where it says Edit Share Fields, this opens up a dialog which allows me to change the content of these fields. For instance, the format for the name, which is the title, okay, that's fine. Um, director. Maybe I want the director's current user. Well, the current user is just Larry, so that's fine for my computer, but that doesn't help me with the export. Maybe I should change this to my first and last name. Or here, the copyright. Copyright, current user, current year. I'm going to delete that. Just highlight it, hit the delete key. Type my name, which I hope I can spell right. And notice it's going to be copyright, Larry Jordan, 2022. And click OK. Now when I export it, it's got that tag there. Well, I went through the process of exporting this. And when I select my project, where do I see these tags? That's where things get interesting. We type Command I and get info on the file and twirl down more info. There's the description. There's the title. There's the duration. And there's the person who created it. I didn't export it with copyright, or you'd see that here. The good news is these tags are searchable by spotlight. So you do a spotlight search, any tag will be searchable. But it does not transfer to any media asset management system. It does not re-import. If you bring a movie back into Final Cut, Final Cut doesn't pull these tags in. It's only available inside Spotlight. So although I recommend that you fill these out, make sure that they're accurate, I wouldn't obsess over them because most of the time that metadata is not going to transfer into some other application that opens the file. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 329. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.